Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Mailbag. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today's question comes in from a Mike S. And he says, I just maxed out my tier two for this year, 2021, of 106,200. So when calculating my tier two benefit, do I use actual earnings for the year or the amount that fulfills my tier two requirement? So I max out my tier two at 106,200, but I actually make 150,000, right? So the question basically is, when they're calculating tier two, am I using my salary or am I using the amount set by the Railroad Retirement Board, which is the maximum? So Mike, in your case, it's right, the Railroad Retirement Board, they set the maximum because it, personally, if I had a higher salary than the maximum, I would love to pay more in tier two because it's such a great return for, as far as uh, Railroad Retirement Income. So it's always whatever the Railroad Retirement Board sets. So also important to remember that changes every year, right? So uh, next year might be a little bit higher and the year following it might be a little bit higher after that. And then finally, uh, it's different than tier one. Remember, it's your five highest earning years or 60 months of um, railroad service that calculates your tier two. Check out my video, Understanding uh, Tier Two and Railroad Retirement. It really goes in depth on that, Mike. So have a look at that. Uh, everyone else, please send in your questions. I'll shoot a video on them. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click, a, click on notifications, get the latest uh, video. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.